my name is Pon Wan Two with a sur new survival, real life survival series, not Minecraft. So I'm gonna be showing you how to make a nice fishing spear today. Okay, so your first step is to get a stick about yay long, so probably two meters. And then what you're gonna want to do with this is take out your knife. I have a Leatherman wave right here. So you take out your knife blade, like that, and you just whittle off some of the top so that you get a nice sharp point. product should look something like that. Uh, okay, so your next step is, so that's the knife. You take out a saw blade like that, so you can see it's nice serrated edge. And what you're going to do is right near the top, you're just going to cut a couple of small notches. <laughs> Then your next step is to make a small slant right down there. So your final... to have to move a little bit. So, so we are to the location. Uh, so what we're going to want is you're going to get yourself a vine kind of like this. So it's still alive and I would never want you guys to kill or destroy an actual plant. So I'm back with this small twig so what you're gonna want to do is just strip off all of these little parts okay so I've done that now again we're gonna take out the Leatherman whoops I dropped it That's bad. so then you're gonna take your Leatherman and starting from the top you're just gonna work your blade under the bark just like that, so you have a little bit of peeled bark. So now what you're going to do, is you're going to pull that piece into... So I've got a pretty long piece here. So what I'm going to do is, let's just set that down. We're going to use that later. So you're going to do that one more time. So this time at the opposite end. So, do that. Okay, so I got one of approximately equal length, and what you're going to do is just tie one end together. Okay, so your knot's going to look like that if you did it right. Now what you're going to do is stick your finger right on that knot and just interlock this. And then, once you've woven it together, you're going to tie this end together. Done, this is what your improvised cord should look like. So this is actually really strong. It doesn't really matter what type of bark you use. I just prefer to use this kind of... Anyone in the comments, let me know what that is. I think it's some kind of a, like a small tree or something. So yeah, now what we're going to do is we're just going to gather some twigs. So, nothing off living trees. So we got this one, 
That's pretty good. Now you can do two things with this spear. You can either leave it like it is, which is just a simple fishing harpoon, so that you've got notches so the fish doesn't slip off. Nice sharp point. Or what I'm going to show you how to do is so you take your twigs, get a couple of straight ones, three straight twigs like this, and sometimes you will actually have to cut them down to size. So let's get so once you have three even sized twigs, you're going to get out your knife and sharpen each one to a tip. So now you have these three. And now what you're gonna do is take your improvised cord, wherever I put that, where did small twigs and tie each of them onto your spear. And now your final product should look something like this. So you have a nice four-pronged fishing spear so that you can increase the rate and probability of spearing something smaller. So yeah, and then this is removable. So you just take those out and then you've got a simple fishing harpoon. So yeah, that's how you make a fishing spear.